Who am I? Who is God? Where do we all come from? How can we find peace? The search for the answers to these universal questions led myself and my family on a journey to discover the art of being. For 13 adventurous years, we travelled back and forth from our home in the Australian rainforest to the four corners of the planet. We're going to the teachings of the Dalai Lama. Who are we going to see? It's been storming and raining and we've been flooded in and haven't been able to get out for a couple of days. Oh, oh scary. You okay, you guys? Yeah, it wasn't too scary because I could have just jumped out and swam. <laughs> <laughs> We haven't well, even I'm... left the shore out. <laughs> I wonder what's going to happen next. The transformation of humanity, change of humanity, right? for better, for more friendly, for more peaceful. Uh, I feel the uh, peaceful home life, the compassionate home life, I think very essential. And through that way, we can create a, a peaceful community. The community is almost 40 years old and is still growing. We just grew organically. Based on our founding principles, we have no idea of the, uh, that nature is an intelligence, that we can cooperate with it. The real meaning of life is connecting up with my own inner divinity. And that has been the basis of my life and still is. And it is of everybody's life, but very fortunately I was able to make a conscious contact. Actually in 1970, a circle came together that had a vision of inviting the whole world to, uh, to bring, bring a family, a gathering together to show the world that we can all live in peace together no matter where we're from, what color we are, what our religion is. And now they're spreading all over the world. Now we've got them over here in Australia, and Europe, Africa, Israel. There is hope for the human race, for the little work. This planet is primarily a water planet. 71% of the surface of this globe is covered with ocean. There's an extraordinary intelligence that has developed over 30 million years that lives in the ocean, in the whales and dolphins. It would be wise of us to listen to the message that they have for us. They have shaped themselves to match the environment, rather than what we've been trying to do, which is to shape the environment to fit us. The prophecy that was told and passed down is that um, whenever a baby white whale is born, it is, a, it is a sign to change now. We must change our ways. And if we don't change it now, this earth won't be able to provide the humanity, you know, for the next generation. Traveling the world and asking these important questions, meeting many indigenous elders and spiritual masters, I found they were all sharing a similar message. All one voice coming through. No matter what religion or culture, we are one human race sharing one planet.